This is a preview for what might be the longest lore video I've made for The Long Dark. Please make sure to leave a like and a comment, and watch as much of the video as possible to give it an algorithm boost. Also, watch to the very end for an important announcement. After crashing his plane in the mountains of Great Bear Island, escaping the dead town of Milton, defeating the bloodthirsty old bear, and learning what was happening in Perseverance Mills, Will McKenzie finally found a path forward. His mission was to deliver the message, Wintermute, to Atwood, protect the hard case, and reunite with his ex-wife, Astrid Greenwood. His perilous journey would take him through the unstable Carter Dam, where he met a new kind of danger lurking in the shadows. Will found himself in the presence of something far worse than the demon bear that was hunting him down. A man wearing a prisoner outfit stood before him. He was demanding to know what was in the hard case. He insisted that locks were a thing of the old world. He was once a part of that world, but this was his world now. In his world, there would be no locks, no secrets, and no limits. His world sounded crazy to Will. He knew nothing about the contents of the case or how to open it. The prisoner, having seen Will's ID, asked if he had a plane. With his plane in pieces, it would do him no good. Taking this as a lie, the prisoner threatened to do the same to him as he did to the last person that lied to him. He had previously run into a woman, which concerned Will momentarily. The prisoner reached for an axe and approached him. Well, don't worry, pilot. You'll be with her soon. This is The Long Dark, Wintermute Episode 4, Fury, Then Silence. A crow was cawing up in the air as it followed two prisoners. With them was a bound and unconscious will as he was awakening. The wolves were howling in the distance as they approached, which wasn't the only thing hunting them. Assuming he was still unconscious, the prisoners discussed their plans to break someone named Donner out of Blackrock. Finally awake, Will whispered he needed water. The leader of the prisoners, Mathis, approached him. Concerned about whether Astrid had run into him, he asked Mathis about the woman he had mentioned before. It was an older woman that started screaming after seeing him in the dam, after which he killed her. Will called him a monster, and Mathis exclaimed that he had no idea what kind of monster he was. Mathis wondered why it mattered to him, and if it had to do with the hard case. Will reiterated he didn't know what was inside. It didn't matter to Mathis because they would find a way to open it. While resting, Will heard of Mathis's plan for him. He would be their ticket off the island. Closer than before, the howl of the nearby Timberwolves echoed as they approached the prisoners. They attacked the two prisoners carrying Will, causing them to drop the medical stretcher he was resting on. All of a sudden, Will found himself sitting on an edged slope overhanging a ravine. Come and get some, you fuckers! This was Will's opportunity to escape. He jumped over the edge, separating himself from the prisoners. With his hands tied together, he makes a run for it along the ravine. With the prisoners hot on his heels, he nearly escaped being spotted. Along the way, he overheard the two other prisoners discussing their plans again. They needed his piloting skills to get them back to the mainland. The balding prisoner didn't care if Will escaped. He was more concerned about the bow-wielding hunter that was after them. Further down the ravine, Will found an abandoned homestead and a rusty saw blade, which allowed him to cut his binds. After a short climb out of the ravine, he would run directly into Mathis. Looks like I finally found a use for your metal case. <laughs> we have unfinished business, pilot. Stick around. And that is the preview for Wintermute Episode 4, Fury, Then Silence. Thank you so much for watching. I wanted to take this time to discuss the region bracket polls that I've been doing for a few weeks now. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone participating. I've never had this many people responding to anything I post. The thing is, 
I appreciate the engagement, but I really wish this level of engagement carried over to the videos. These posts are getting as much, if not more, engagement than some videos. When I said, please leave a like and a comment at the start of the video, it is incredibly important that you do it for everything. I especially need it for the lore videos. Engagement is incredibly important when it comes to the algorithm, and without it, videos will not perform well. I'm incredibly grateful for the participation with the region bracket polls, but I also need that same level of participation and engagement for the videos. The next video, Winchimi Episode 4, Fury Then Silence, will be my longest video yet. It will likely exceed 20 minutes by a lot, and I'm afraid it will not do well because of low engagement and low average view time. Watch time is also important, which is why I ask you to please make sure to watch the whole thing or as much of it as possible. These three things alone are all I ask of you when watching the videos. If you made it this far into the video, hopefully you heard this important message from me. It's important if the channel is to continue to grow and survive. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all in the comments when the full video is ready.